Welcome to the Conservation Learning Center's 2021 Virtual Field Day. We are once again releasing a series of videos showcasing our demonstrations and research projects here at the CLC. Thank you to our sponsors, the Saskatchewan Wheat Development Commission and the Saskatchewan Flax Development Commission. And a big thank you to all of our funders who support research here at the CLC. We have two organic cover cropping trials this year at the CLC. We wanted to showcase cover crop options in the region to suppress weeds and reduce tillage in organic production systems. For one of the trials, we are looking at different types of cover crops at different seeding dates that will naturally terminate in the winter. And for the other project, we are comparing the effectiveness of using a roller crimper versus swathing versus simply working in the cover crop. These trials are two-year projects that are funded by the ADOPT program that is made po possible through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership. Today we have Dunling Wang and Garth Badone with us to discuss these trials. Dunling is the Provincial Specialist in Alternative Cropping Systems at the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture and Garth is a local organic producer that the CLC has been working with to conduct these trials. My name is Garth Bedham and I farm organically next to the Conservation Learning Centre. And I feel very fortunate that they would consider a collaboration on a project to look at cover crops and their benefits in organic production. Projects like this allow producers to trial a variety of different cropping options that they just would not have the resources, time or expertise to complete. The staff at the Conservation Learning Centre follow strict protocols that produce consistent results so we can know that the results can be depended upon. Some of the benefits that comes for the producers from this trial would be that it would acceler accelerate the research process, which provides them very useful information more quickly. It helps make decisions like what varieties are best to grow, uh, what species you might consider in a, in a mix. It also helps to quantify economic and environmental benefits so that as producers, we can make better decisions. I wanted to speak a little bit about my perspective on cover crops and I guess why they're important and some of the benefits that I see. Really, we're trying to, as best we can, mimic mother nature by keeping the soil covered, by minimizing soil disturbance, keeping living roots in the soil and providing a healthy environment for bacteria and fungi, worms, etc. So how does that benefit a producer? Well, for me at least, it looks for weed suppression, increasing organic matter, improving soil fertility by digging up nutrients that are down deep and bringing them up, and erosion control. In this area at least, we, we experience a few problems with cover crops, and this helps us to resolve them. One is a short growing season. Uh, two is either not enough moisture, or in some cases too much moisture, but this year especially, not enough and sometimes late harvest. So by working with the Conservation Learning Centre, I get more research specific to our area and get to see the results from those trials. One other project that we have collaborated with this year is we've entered into a trial of a cover crop that will be terminated by uh, a variety of methods, but one of the methods will be by the use of a roller crimper. This method appears to work well in more southern areas, but may not in this region. And this will allow us to find out if it will work here and what some of the benefits or problems might be. So hopefully we can get a better idea of, of how and if a roller crimper might fit into our future plans. This demonstration would show the multiple species of cover crops compared to the mono species. And mono species cover crop are often grown by producers. Uh, like conventional producers grow a cereal and organic producers grow one particular legume. Uh, in general, cover crop cocktails, that means you know mix all the type of seeds together would, would do a better work in producing biomass and fixed nitrogen. Altogether, they would be able to prime the soil microbiology, and which in many cases would be able to release the phosphorus from those kind of uh, non-available phosphorus sources, and which 
is important to some organic producers because the soil is short of phosphorus. There are three categories of crops that can be used for cover crops. Cereal grass, which with a fabulous uh, roots, the legume, nitrogen fixer, and a brassica, which can reduce the risk of disease and pests. To ensure effective uh, nitrogen fixation in the cover crop season to supply the nitrogen for the next crop, uh, it's important to have legume. Based on the research done by University of Manitoba, uh, the legume ratio to other non-legumes should be over 50%. Uh, one simple way for producers to do is to seed the legume crop at a suggested rate and then uh, you know, mix it up with quarter to 50% of the suggested uh, cereal crops, it include some brassica that would be able to reduce the pest and the disease uh, uh, risk. For the cover crop to uh, suppress weeds, there are two conditions. The first is you need to select a very competitive crops that would grow well. And normally producers should select those crops they grow in their area. The second requirement is this crops has to produce enough biomass to compete with the weeds. The seeding rate is also important for organic system uh, the, the multiple species uh, combination seeding rate should be 1.5 to 2 times of the recommended seeding rate of the conventional uh, monocrops. The other project we are testing the termination methods. The new uh, methodology to terminate the cover crop is called ruler crimper and has been used in the southern part of the province popularly and what it works they have this kind of roller and got this kind of uh, uh, metal edge uh, saw to it. And when it's raw, it basically cut the uh, cover crop. During the flowering time, the crop will be seriously damaged, they will be die. The uh, residue will stay on the top of the soil. During winter time, they would be able to retain moisture and uh, suppress the weeds and you could also directly seed into this biomass mat in springtime. This is a new, a new kind of uh, prototype that, you know, doing this kind of demonstration you know, on the organic field and, uh, you know, use organic techniques. And uh, I was also appreciate that Brooke invite me to this site and to talk to you guys.